Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into one of the most ambitious and transformational projects in modern ground combat development, the United States Army's XM-30 Mechanized Infantry Combat Vehicle, and how it perfectly showcases the cutting-edge power of MOSA, or Modular Open Systems Architecture. This isn't just another new vehicle with a fancy name. The XM-30 is a bold, future-proof, war-ready platform designed from the ground up to dominate on tomorrow's battlefields. It doesn't just shoot and move, it thinks, adapts, communicates, and evolves in real time. And in this video, we're going all in not just what it does, but how each system works, what each component means, and why the XM-30 represents the biggest leap in land combat vehicle design in decades. Let's get into it. First off, let's talk about MOSE, the architectural philosophy behind this machine. Modular open systems architecture is essentially the military's way of saying, no more proprietary, locked down, slow to upgrade systems. Instead of building a vehicle where everything is welded in permanently, MOSA mandates open interfaces, common standards, and interchangeable components. In practice, that means if a new sensor, targeting algorithm, or AI module is developed, you can drop it into the XM30 without tearing the whole thing apart. That means faster upgrades, lower life cycle costs, easier repair and maintenance, and the ability to adapt to threats almost as fast as they evolve. Imagine your phone being built like a tank, and I don't mean tough, I mean modular. New processor, just slot it in. New camera system, plug and play, now scale that up to a 50-ton armored combat system, and that's what MOSA delivers. It allows the Army to sidestep the decades-long procurement cycles that left older platforms like the Bradley constantly lagging behind modern threats. Now, let's look under the hood literally and break down the XM-30's core components, starting with the main weapon system, the XM-913 Bushmaster 50mm chain gun. This is not just a beefed-up autocannon, it's a multi-role, high-velocity kinetic energy platform capable of engaging enemy armor, fortified positions, and even slow-moving air targets like helicopters and drones. It fires armor-piercing, airburst, and programmable ammunition, meaning it can set detonation ranges, burst over trenches, or penetrate reinforced enemy vehicles depending on mission needs. This versatility gives the XM-30 a massive fire superiority advantage over older systems like the Bradley's 25mm cannon. The Bushmaster uses an externally powered chain-driven system, which reduces jamming risk and allows for precise control of fire rates. The gun itself is mounted in an unmanned turret, which means no crew members are exposed in the top portion of the vehicle, increasing survivability drastically. Now let's talk target acquisition and fire control, which is where things get smart. The XM-30 is designed with an advanced sensor suite, combining electro-optical slash infrared, EO-IR sights, long-range day and night vision, laser range finders, and thermal imagers. All of these are tied into an AI-assisted fire control computer, which uses sensor fusion to build a complete, real-time battlefield picture. What does that mean? It means the system takes feeds from multiple cameras and sensors, cross-references them, and builds a single enhanced view for the gunner and commander. Combine this with automatic target recognition software currently under development by companies like Northrop Grumman and Palantir, and the XM-30 can spot, track, and prioritize enemy vehicles, infantry, drones, or threats before a human operator even lays eyes on them. And once a target is selected, the system can calculate range, movement vector, wind, and environmental data to ensure high first shot kill probability. This makes the vehicle deadly fast in kinetic engagements. Let's now move into protection and survivability, where the XM-30 really earns its next-gen badge. The vehicle will be equipped with an active protection system. APS, likely a variant of the Trophy or Iron Fist system, which detects incoming rockets or missiles and launches a countermeasure to destroy them mid-flight. It's like having a miniature missile defense shield around the vehicle. The sensors for this are radar-based and provide 360-degree coverage, constantly scanning for incoming projectiles. On top of that, the XM-30's passive protection includes advanced modular composite armor that can be adapted depending on the threat level of the mission. Going into a low-risk patrol, lighter armor to increase speed. Rolling into a high-intensity urban fight, 
bolt on heavier modules for maximum survivability. There's also signature management tech that reduces its infrared and radar footprint to make the XM30 harder to spot and track, even by drones and surveillance aircraft. Now, let's talk mobility and power, and this is where things get real exciting. The XM30 is expected to use a hybrid electric drivetrain, combining a traditional diesel engine with electric motors. Why does that matter? First, it allows for silent movement using pure electric mode, ideal for stealth operations or ambushes. Second, it reduces the thermal and acoustic signature, making it harder for enemies to detect. Third, it supports regenerative power systems that can charge onboard batteries or power external systems like directed energy weapons or drone launch pads. And finally, hybrid power improves fuel efficiency and logistical endurance, letting the vehicle operate longer without needing resupply. On terrain mobility, the XM30 features advanced suspension, terrain mapping sensors, and adaptive traction controls, making it ideal for complex environments ranging from deserts to forests to urban ruins. Let's move to the crew interface and digital battlefield integration. The vehicle has a crew of two, a driver and a vehicle commander, and carries six dismounts, which are fully equipped infantry troops. But what's wild is that the entire vehicle is designed to operate remotely or autonomously as well. Thanks to fly-by-wire systems, remote operator consoles, and autonomous navigation software, the XM30 can operate with no crew on board in high-risk missions. Imagine a convoy of these rolling into a contested zone without risking a single human life. The internal cockpit is designed like a fighter jet, full touchscreen interfaces, augmented reality overlays, 360-degree camera feeds, and AI decision support systems that can suggest tactics, identify threats, and even manage logistics in real time. It's not just a ride, it's a command and control platform. One of the most advanced features of the XM30 is its UAS, Unmanned Aerial System Integration. The vehicle will be able to launch and control its own drones for scouting, surveillance, or even attack. These drones will feed back live video, enemy positions, terrain maps, and target designations, turning the XM30 into a recon strike node capable of fighting beyond line of sight. This capability is crucial in modern combat, where knowing what's around the next block or over the next hill can mean the difference between mission success or failure. It also enables manned-unmanned teaming, where multiple XM30s coordinate with aerial drones, loitering munitions, and even other autonomous ground vehicles in real time, forming a highly coordinated digital kill web. And finally, let's talk future upgrades because that's the beating heart of MOSA. If tomorrow's battlefield demands quantum encrypted comms, AI swarm coordination, or electromagnetic railguns, the XM30 doesn't need a new design, it just needs the modules. It can swap in new software, bolt on new systems, and drop outdated tech with ease. That's decades of relevance in a field where most vehicles become obsolete in 10 years or less. That's not just good design, that's generational dominance. So, in conclusion, and you've stuck with me through a lot here, the XM30 is not just a vehicle. It's the centerpiece of the Army's vision for a flexible, digital, and lethal fighting force. It's built to integrate, adapt, upgrade, and dominate in every domain land, cyber, and even air. From its firepower to its armor, from its AI brain to its modular heart, the XM30 is the real deal. And it's coming soon to reshape warfare as we know it. If you're excited by this kind of cutting-edge military innovation, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and drop a comment on what platform you want us to dive into next. Do you want a breakdown of Russia's latest T-14 Armada? Or maybe China's autonomous Type 99 upgrades? You name it, we'll cover it. Thanks for watching, stay curious, stay sharp, and I'll see you in the next one.